All right, so today is all about discovering. We're going to discover the relationship between parallel lines, and we're going to discover their relationship between perpendicular lines. So the first one is we have three different sets of parallel lines, okay? So looking at all of them, what, do you, what can you observe from these three different graphs? Well, they're obviously parallel. They, they, they told you that. What else? There's no stopping point. Oh, they go on forever. Yeah, they're both lines, so they're going to go infinite. Good. They don't have endpoints. Okay. Yeah, so set A, set A, and set B are both negative. Good. Which means they have a negative what? Slope. Yeah. The, so they both have a negative slope, good. Staying on that kind of mindset, what could you say about C? Those are horizontal lines, right? Remember the whole Hoivux thing? It was horizontal lines, what was that O in the middle? What does that stand for? Horizontal lines have a blank slope, and they have a y-intercept. So what's that middle piece? They have a slope of zero. Have a slope of zero. <laughs> so set C has a slope of zero. Good. Okay. So we kind of examined this last week. It happened like one of our very last, last problems. So what makes parallel lines? They share the same. What did we just talk about? Slope. They share the same slope. They all have the same rise and the same run. Okay, All of them do. They do have different y-intercepts, Okay, but their slopes are going to be exactly the same. Okay, so here we go. We have a graph of y equals 3 fourths x minus 2. It's already shown for us. It's already there. Okay, now draw a line that is parallel to that line. So what did we just say? It has to have the same slope but a different y-intercept. So we got options, right? Where do you want to start this line? Y equals what? Y positive 2. All right, so we're going to start here. If you want to start at 5 on your paper, go for it. Start at 5. Just pick a spot on the y-axis that's not going to be negative 2, because that, that's already taken. Okay. Now, how are we going to... There you go. Up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2, 3, and 4. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. I heard it, and then we can go down. 2, 3, and over 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that. Right. Is my room a little close to you guys? Okay. Hopefully the air will kick on soon. Okay. So this is a parallel line that we drew. Now it wants me to write the equation of the line that I just drew. Use the slope and the y-intercept of the line you drew to write the equation. So it's going to be y equals, what is the slope of my parallel line? 3 over 4, good. And what y-intercept did we use? What kind of a 2? Positive 2. There we go. So same slope, and then where we started on the y-axis. Tomorrow, we're going to focus just on parallel lines. We're going to do a whole lot of graphing and writing of things like this. Today, we're kind of discovering both before we dive into just one topic. Okay. We good? Questions about those? Ready to discover perpendicular? Have you heard of these words before? Yes. Okay. So I know you haven't done geometry yet, um, but I think you've been introduced. Yeah. Okay, so these guys, 
These are perpendicular lines. Hmm. All right, so what, what observations do we have there? They do cross over each other. Yep. They're going to intersect. They have an intersect. Parallel lines were focused on what? Never touching because they have the same slope, right? So I wonder if perpendicular has something to do with slope also. Let's see. Um, look at, let's look at our first set, A. This blue line has a slope of what? Up one and over five. The red line has a slope of what? Up five and over one. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. It's also negative, right? Because it's falling down. Let's see if that happens again. Let's try this one. My red line, what is this? Up two over one. What's the blue line? It's down one. Down one over two. So what do you think is going to be special about perpendicular lines? They have the opposite. It's called opposite reciprocal. That's reciprocal is very fancy for flip the fraction. Okay. So they're going to have opposite. So one will be positive and one will be negative. And the word that I can't spell. Reciprocal. I don't think this is right. That's not how you spell that word. Maybe it's like that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the opposite reciprocal uh, slope. I haven't finished my coffee yet. This is when I would push the button in my phone and just say the word, and then it would spell it for me. <laughs> okay. So they definitely intersect. They have an opposite reciprocal slope. They also, their intersection, by the way, is very special. We get into a little geometry for you. They intersect at a perfect 90 degrees, all of them. So we're getting fancy. I'm going to let you know. They intersect at a perfect 90 degrees, and that's because of the opposite reciprocal slope that they have. That will always happen. Okay. So here we go. Now we have a graph of a line, okay? The graph of y minus 5 equals 2 times x minus 1 is already shown on the graph, okay? What kind of form is this line given to us in? Point slope. It is uh, point slope. Yeah, they gave me the point, an x of positive 1 and a y of positive 5, right? Positive 1, positive 5. They gave me that point in the, in the formula. What's my slope? Our slope is the 2x. Good. So up 2 and over 1. Is that true with my line? Up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Yes. Good. Her dry line that is perpendicular to y minus 5 equals 2 times x minus 1 and goes through the point negative 5, 4. So they've labeled a point they want it to go through by using the corner of a sheet of paper for a right angle. Or we could just also do um, the opposite slope, right? So you could do it both ways. What it wants you to do with the paper, getting fancy, you could line up your paper against your line like this and see where it crosses the point. And then trace across. Like that's why it's saying to use the right angle because your corner of a paper is your right angle. Okay? So that's one way to draw it. Or we can also use our slope. So what is the, what is the opposite reciprocal slope going to be? Negative one. Negative one. Good. So it was two over one. Opposite reciprocal is now negative, but one over two. So down one over two. Down one over two. We can also go up and back like that. So if you held your corner of your paper up against your graph, you would get this same line. Okay. 
What's that? Why does it say negative five over four? That's the point that they labeled for me. Um, it's super, it's, oop, it's not very, come on, there we go. It's right here. It's pretty light. They, they gave me that point. They wanted me to draw my new line to go through that point. All right, so now it wants me to write an equation, okay? So first off, what is my new slope? Negative the negative one over two, good. And what's the new point that we're, they want me to use? Negative five. negative five, positive four. So it's gonna be y minus y, so it's y minus, is it the negative five or the four? Negative five. Which one's the y value? Four. The four, so if I'm doing y minus y, I'm doing y minus four equals our new slope of negative one half times x minus x, so it's gonna be x minus so minus negative five gives me plus five, like that. Good. So we have an example of parallel. We have an example of perpendicular. Now we're going to do a little bit more. Questions about either of those? So this is kind of familiar, sort of. The idea, I guess, is more familiar than actually, like, not right now. Okay. Make a conjecture about the slope of parallel lines and the slope of perpendicular lines. So you and your partner write a sentence about the slope of parallel lines and the slope of perpendicular lines. What is always true? Ready, set, go. Let's see what we got. Who has a sentence they want to tell me about parallel lines? I saw Jesse first. Very good. Slope. Did you hear what he said? Yes. No. He said that perpendicular lines cross each other because they have an opposite reciprocal slope. And parallel lines will never intersect each other because they have the same slope. It's beautifully said. I like it. Questions? If you have it worded differently, is it okay? Yes. He, he hit all the hot topics. Par perpendicular lines intersect. Opposite reciprocal slope. Okay. Parallel lines don't intersect, same slope. Let's do your hot topics. Okay, so let's do a little bit more down here. The lines of equations, y minus six equals negative four times x plus one, and x minus four y equals four are shown in the same coordinate plane, or coordinate grid. Emma, what is the slope of the line representing the equation y minus six equals negative four times x plus one? It is going to be negative four. Good. Aubrey, what is the slope of the line representing the equation x minus four y equals four? That one's a little bit harder. Why? Why is this one a little bit harder for us? Oh, hold on. How did they how did they give it to us? Like the equation of the line. It's in standard form, right? They put x and y on the same side, so they're gonna make us work a little bit to get this slope. So what what should we do? Simplify. We could simplify. What else could I do? What if I didn't what if I didn't feel like doing math today? I could still get my answer. I know. What you got? The one thing. Oh, what if I don't? What if I don't want to mess with the equation at all? So I could, I could solve for y. Okay, that is one way of doing it. I could subtract x over, and then I could divide by negative four. So negative one over negative four x plus four over negative four. So that would give me y equals positive one fourth x minus one. 
And we can tell us now we know the slope is what? One over four. Good. Okay. We could also look at my graph to help me. If we know one of my lines has a slope of negative four, that's obviously the line going down, right? So this is this is the slope being being represented for number one, right? The other line is what's being represented in number two. So I could go to my graph and see what's happening. Look, up one, one, two, three, four. Up one, one, two, three, four. Okay. I would not assume they're perpendicular. I wouldn't just go off of your answer in number one unless they tell you these lines are perpendicular. Then you can use one slope to find the other. If they don't give you that fact, you can't guess that it is. Okay, and you're going to have to actually prove it. All right. <laughs> Dion, what is the slope of a line that is parallel to x minus 4y equals 4? So look, look at, um, well, hold on. What do we know about parallel lines? What do they have? The same? The same slope, right? What was the slope of that line? It was the problem we just did. Look, x minus 4y equals 4, right? x minus 4y equals 4. Hold on, I'm still on Dion. I'm making him do it. So what is the, what is the slope of the line that we just did? 1 fourth. There we go. So what slope of, is... What's going to be the slope of line that's parallel to that same line? One fourth. Slope of one over four. Okay, they're going to have to, if they're parallel, they're going to have to match. Okay. Explain how to determine if two lines are parallel. We kind of just said it. Good. If they have the same slope. Same slope and different y-intercepts. Good. So the, the lines that are graphed for us, are they parallel? No. no, what are they? They are perpendicular. And how do we know that they're perpendicular? That has nothing to do with it. Any kind of lines can cross. Those lines can cross. They're not perpendicular. My slopes, so it went from negative to positive, right? And then it went from four to one fourth. Is that an opposite reciprocal? Yes. So that's how I know. If it went from negative four to positive one fifth, that's not perpendicular. It's going to look like it. It's going to be real close, but it's not going to work. Okay. Um, slopes are negative four and then positive 1 over 4. If you want to put negative 4 over a 1, you can to kind of see the flip that's going on, but that's how we know they're perpendicular. Okay. okay. So we actually have six different lines right here. So three of them are in graphs and three of them are equations. Do we see that? We have line A, C, D, and we also have line E, G, and Y. So there's six of them up here, okay? Which lines are parallel? So what are we looking for? Lines that have the same slope, good. So, let's see here, we gotta figure out their slopes, don't we? What is the slope for line A? So negative two down, I'm going to kind of show you how my brain's going to, how I'm, I'm going to think out loud. Okay. We went down and over. It went from negative two to negative six. So that went down four, four units, right? So go from negative two to negative six. I went down four. It got smaller. And then from negative five, it went over to positive five. That's a positive 10 moving to the right. Y'all see how I did that without like setting up the equation? Are you okay? Okay. And then here we can simplify. I heard someone say two over five. 
So this does simplify to negative 2 over 5. So if anything else has a slope of negative 2 over 5, it's going to be parallel to line A. Okay. We already know it's not line C. How do we already know that without doing anything else? It's positive. It's going up. Okay, I'm going to find the slope the same way that I just did the other one. I'm going to look at how my y's changed. So my rise went from a y of negative 9 to a y of positive 3. There is no line B. It's A and C. I'm doing C now. So from negative 9 to positive 3, that was a number line. Well, we know negative 9 to 0 is 9, right? And then 1, 2, 3, 12. there you go, so 12. So we went up positive 12, and then we went over, let's see, we went from negative 2 to positive 4, positive 6. So this is a slope of 2. There is no B. It is not there. It does not exist. <laughs> I also don't have F or H through X. <laughs> it's okay. All right, line D, my Y's go from negative 1 to negative 3. So they got smaller, right? Negative 1, negative 3. So that went down 2. And I went over from 5 to 10. I went over 5. Good. That does not simplify. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. So I already know one pair. So we know we know A and D are parallel. I wonder if any of our equations are going to match up. Maybe. Let's see. What is the slope for line E? Negative 0 0.5. That's the same thing as like negative 1 half, right? So that's negative 1 half. That doesn't match to anything right now. Um, line G, I'm going to run out of colors. Um, orange. Line G, what's the slope for line G? Oh, so close. Negative 1. Good. There's a negative out front of our parentheses. That's showing me negative 1. Good. And line Y making us do a little work. Not too much, though. All we have to do here is we have to get the Y by itself. So we have to divide, right, by negative 5. So what's 2 divided by negative 5? Negative 2 over 5, right? Did I just find a third to be parallel together? Yep. So A, D, and Y. They all have a slope of negative 2 over 5. Okay. Do we have any of these that are uh, perpendicular to each other? C and E? Yeah, so C is 2 over 1. E is negative 1 over 2. Are those opposite reciprocals? Yes. So C and E are perpendicular to each other. Good. All right, line G was not used for any of those. He doesn't have any friends. But if we wanted to give him a friend, okay, what would be the slope of a line that could be perpendicular to G? Just positive 1? Okay, well, what... The slope of G right now is negative 1, right? Which, again, we can put over 1. So opposite of that would be a positive. And then if you flip 1 over 1, it's just a positive 1, right? So the slope of a line that's perpendicular to G would just have a slope of positive 1. Are we still feeling okay about these? Okay. 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 <laughs> Determine if the lines of the two equations are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So, again, what's our focus about parallel and perpendicular lines? We have to know their 
we have to know their slope, okay? So we have to find slope between the two equations before we can even make that, that decision. Um, equation K and V, they're going to make us work, aren't they? Standard form always makes us work a little bit harder. So let's find the slope of equation K. What would I do first? I need to get this Y by itself. How? Subtracting it. So negative 4Y is going to equal negative 7X plus 8. And then divide everything by negative 4. This gives me... Mm hmm 704x minus 2. Good. Come on. There we go. Good. All right, let's do it for equation V. What do I got to do for equation V? I got to move the 4 over. So now I have negative 7y equals negative 4x plus 14. Good. Divide each piece by negative 7. Minus 2. Okay. So do I care that they both have a y-intercept of negative 2? No, that really doesn't matter to me. I care about their slopes. I have a slope of 7 over 4, and then I have a slope of 4 over 7. So what does that mean? Their trick worked. Why are they not perpendicular? Oh, because they're not opposite signs. They're reciprocals, but they're not opposite. Yeah, they're not opposite reciprocals. No, they're neither. Nope. Parallel, they would have been exactly the same. Perpendicular, they flip and change their signs. So this one, it just flipped. It did not change its sign. So it's, it's none of them. Here we go, last little bit. Equation M and equation R. Equation M is going to make me work again, isn't it? Here we go. Tell me what to do. Bless you. How am I going to take out the 3? Subtract it over. So what's left on this side? There we go. Yep, negative 2i. Sorry, my, my pin was behind. It wasn't working. I'm behind you. Negative 2i equals negative 3x plus 6. There we go. And I did hear you say divide by negative 2. Yeah, Good. Is anybody confused on how Jaden's getting all this? Are we okay with our two-step equations? Okay. All right, so there's equation M. Do I have to do anything to equation R? No, thank goodness. Standard form was the one that makes me work. Point slope and slope intercept, that's in the name, they give me my slope, right? So equation R is in point slope form. What is the slope? 3 over 2. What was the slope for um, equation M from above? So what does that mean? These are parallel, yes. These are parallel lines because they have the same slope. There we go. Same slope, different y-intercept. Oh, we don't even know what the y-intercept is, but they do have different slopes. Our same slopes, excuse me. Okay, so that's all you're focusing on today is which one is it. Okay, so I want workbooks out. I want them open to page 83. I want us working so that way I can stamp you.